New York just gave Democrats another way to get Trump's tax returns. Will they act? New York is doing its best to make it possible for Congress to get its hands on. Will it work? On Monday, New York government. Andrew Cuomo of, while the change could, presumably, apply to many government officials, it is aimed at one individual in particular Donald Trump. This bill gives Congress the ability to fulfill its constitutional responsibilities, strengthen our democratic system and ensure that no one is above the law, government. Cuomo said in a, this is the latest step in Democrats' broad efforts to bring President Trump's tax returns to light. Last week, the battle over the federal tax returns is likely to be tied up in the courts for months, if not years, and if Democrats do try to use the newly enacted law to get Trump's state tax returns, the president and his legal team could try to fight that as well. The White House, and at this point, House Democrats might not even request the New York state tax returns at all. Neil doesn't appear, still, Neil on attempting to get Trump's federal tax returns. Some on Capitol Neil's enthusiasm for using what New York has offered and conducting actual oversight is probably lower than what a patient would offer to have their molars yanked without anesthesia, said a congressional aide. Neil's office did not return multiple requests for comment on his plans now that the New York law has been passed. The, which passed the state legislature in the spring, allows the New York State Tax Commissioner to release state tax returns and information to three specific congressional committees that have jurisdiction over taxes the House Ways and Means Committee, the Senate Finance Committee, and the Joint Committee on Taxation. It applies to the re the bill authorizes the commissioner to release the information as long as it is requested for a specified and legitimate legislative purpose, and the committee has to have made a written request to the U.S. Treasury Secretary for the individual in question's federal tax returns. This is really narrow, Carrie Donovan, Communications Director for Assemblyman David Buchwald, who sponsored the bill in New York's lower chamber, told me. It just adds three. He noted that the New York tax commissioner can already share such information with the IRS and other state commissioners. The bill is pretty crisp. There are certain items that would have to be redacted or removed before Trump's or anyone's tax returns were released to a congressional committee. You namely, as the final legislation reads, any copy of a federal return or portion thereof attached to, or any information on a federal return that is reflected on, such report or return, and any social security numbers, account numbers, and residential address information. Basically, that means any information directly from a federal tax return, or personal information such as a social security number, can't be disclosed. But a lot could be, while seeing Trump's state returns wouldn't be the end all, be all of his financials, it would be something. And it's certainly bet the New York information is best viewed as a roadmap to help Congress Trump oversight investigation, Steve Rosenthal, said in an email. He added that he believes the legislation was written so generically, Trump might have a hard time arguing against it in court. And he may need to act. As mentioned, it's not clear whether Congress you or, specifically, Republic. Neil you are going to. Democrats are split over how to approach the issue of Trump's taxes, both federal and state. Some, include, I have high hopes for a victory in the court, Republic. Judy Chu Dees, others, however. Republic. Bill Pascrell D. I have been seeking oversight of Trump's tax returns for years, using our clear power under Section 6103F and I am confident the courts will side decisively with the Ways and Means Committee. I appreciate Section 6103 is the 1924 law that authorizes the Ways and Means Committee to request the federal tax return information you personal and business you of any taxpayer from the IRS. Treasury, it's not clear how the push for the state returns would turn out or whether it would be held up in court, just as the federal push has. But right now...